Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, I hope you're having an amazing day. It is Thursday, October 16th, 2014, and we're going to read Song of Solomon's Chapter 3. By night on my bed, I sought him who love who... By night on my bed, I sought him whom my soul loveth. I sought him, but I found him not. <clears throat> I will rise now, and go about the city and the streets, and in the broad ways I will seek him whom my soul loveth. I sought him, but I found him not. The watchmen that go about the city found me, to whom I said, Saw ye him whom my soul loveth? <clears throat> It was but a little, little that I passed from them, but I found him whom my soul loveth. I held him, and would not let him go, until I had brought him into my mother's house, and into the chamber of her that conceived me. I charge ye, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, by the rose, and by, and, and, by the hens of the field, and ye stir not up nor awake my love till he pleases. Who is this that cometh out of the wilderness like a pillar of smoke, perfumed with myrrh and frankincense, with all powders of the merchant? Behold his bed, which is Solomon's. Three score valiant man, men are about it, of the valiant of Israel. They are hold swords, being ex expert in war, Every man hath his sword upon his thigh, because of fear in the night. King Solomon made himself a chariot of the wood of Lebanon. He made the pillars there, thereof of silver, the bottom thereof of gold, the covering of it of purple, the mist thereof being paved with love for the daughters of Jerusalem. And the last verse for chapter 3, verse 11. Go forth, O ye daughters of Zion, and behold Solomon, behold King Solomon, with the crown, <clears throat> wherewith his mother crowned him in the days of his espousal, and in the days of the gladness of his heart. And that does conclude Song of Solomon, chapter 3. Little pause to let you think, to let you just, you know, let it all sink in on what's being said in these songs of Solomon. <clears throat> you know, I know we have the thoughts that make you think and the facts that make you ponder, but the Daily Bible reading is like food for your soul. It helps open your eyes. It helps, you know, you to understand. That's why I l am loving Pastor Jeff Earl's Proverbs of the Day. I mean, those are so amazing. It just lightens up my day, the rest of my day. And I hope you really are going to check them out. And, you know, leave a like, a thumbs up, share them, please. You know, that's how we get our, the message out. That's how we get the word out. Word out. That's how, you know, that's how the good news is spread. You know, it, Peace be in you, my brothers and sisters. May the Lord have mercy on us all. I love you guys so very, very much. God bless.